Gorilla Tag has a massive problem, so stick around because I'm going to be talking about Gorilla Tag's young and toxic community and the problem with most Gorilla Tag content creators. Gorilla Tag is notorious for a majority of the player base being extremely young. The chance of you going into a public lobby and finding someone over the age of 13 is slim to none. And if you didn't know, according to Meta, to use their headsets, you have to be 13 or older. But this isn't even Gorilla Tag's biggest problem. Toxicity. Toxicity is Gorilla Tag's biggest problem and the main reason most people stop playing the game. Today, I went into a public infection lobby looking to play around with the newest update. But when I say almost every single lobby I went into, I heard someone either yelling slurs, modding, or acting toxic to other players, I'm not lying. You may be having a good day, but as soon as a 6 year old starts yelling slurs at you, your day goes downhill pretty quickly. Gorilla Tag's report system. After hearing everything I just said about being toxic, you may ask the question, why don't you just report them? And here's the problem, I do. Anytime I hear a slur or toxicity, the first thing I do is report that player. But the chance of that player actually getting banned is extremely unlikely. And yes, I do know that Gorilla Tag has moderators. If you didn't know, moderators are players that have been chosen by the creator of Gorilla Tag to go from lobby to lobby finding these toxic players and automatically banning them. But with Gorilla Tag being one of the biggest VR games, the chance of you running into these mods are not likely. But what should be done to prevent this problem? Honestly, it's hard to say. Basically, every online game has experienced the problem of toxicity. Gorilla Tag content. Ever since the release of Gorilla Tag, people have been making videos, playing the game, and having fun. But in the last year or so, Gorilla Tag content has gotten lazy. Most people following the most recent TikTok trends and not putting much effort into well thought out videos. And just to be clear, I am guilty of doing this in the past. But that leads me to my next point. This gets boring for the people watching the Gorilla Tag videos, and it gets repetitive for those creating these types of videos. Also, please remember that some of what I said in this video was strictly my opinion. If you disagree or have any other questions, comment down below and subscribe.